What makes a hero and how do you know someone is one? Well, students at Warren's Elementary School will tell you they've got the answer. February's hometown hero features a sergeant from the Monroe County Sheriff's Office who was nominated 11 times by this group of 11 year olds. He really just wants to keep the community safe. Flip through the pages of a comic book and it's likely you'll find a hero. Let's continue reading. Yes. If you ask the fifth graders at Warren's Elementary, they'll tell you there's one that visits their classroom all the time. I enjoy interacting with kids and building those positive relationships. This hero doesn't wear a cape. He's, he's made for the badge because in Badger, there's badge. Sergeant Marcus Adam Badger. When people's days are bad and he comes in, just lights it up. He wasn't always the man of the hour. The first time he visited, I was um, a little like, why is he here? Like, <laughs> But it's hard not to admire this member of the Monroe County Sheriff's Office. I look around and all I see is smiles and laughs and stuff. In more ways than one. A lot of my girls in here think he's very handsome. <laughs> look at their faces. <laughs> For Sergeant Badger, his uniform represents building a connection with everyone. It's a job we all do because we love it and we enjoy it and we want to serve the people that uh, are in Monroe County. Um, and for me, it's just another day I get to enjoy at work and like I said, it's, it's fantastic that this has happened. Down to the youngest members of his community. Have you seen him change somebody's day here who was having a bad day? Um, he's changed mine. That's what a hero does. Reporting in Warren's, the West Star, News 8 Now. Thank you, Dua. Sergeant Badger says he hopes to encourage other members of the Sheriff's Department to build strong and positive relationships with kids as well. If you know someone in your community who goes above and beyond, you can nominate them as a hometown hero. You can just fill out the form on our website at news8000.com.